Hi, welcome to my channel, White Ravens Cauldron. This evening I'm going to be reading for Scorpio, so this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. Quickly, I'd just like to let you know about a competition I'm running. It's a free tarot card reading giveaway by uh, myself. Um, all you have to do to enter is like, share, subscribe. Uh, jump up in the comment section, let me know that you have liked, shared, subscribed. Leave a comment about the video. And the star sign videos with the most views, a person will be chose at random from the comment section. It's going to be a Halloween special, so the person will be chosen by October 31st. Hurry up and get in there because obviously October 31st is creeping forward very quickly. So again, like, share, subscribe, jump up in the comment section, let me know you've subscribed, You've obviously you've commented and liked, and you may be the lucky winner. Just to let you know, I do swear during my videos, I do have negative feedback from people about that. And if I'm honest, I'm sick and tired of telling people, if you don't like swearing, don't come to my readings because this energy ain't for you. But they still keep coming back, you know, trolls, whatever you want to fucking call them, I don't know. But anyhow, let's see what's coming towards Scorpio, please. October 31st. Challenges, love, career, finances. What is coming towards Scorpio? Sometimes shit gets a bit real during Scorpio's readings. Um, I do try and minimise it as best as I can. But, you know, you've got to understand sometimes there's people out there that need to hear their messages. So just bear with it. Okay, what is coming towards Scorpio? Please, Archangel Michael. October 31st. One more shuffle, this is. One more shuffle. Okay, split the deck. Split the deck. Okay. What is coming towards Scorpio, please? What is coming towards Scorpio? What is coming towards Scorpio? October 31st. Oh, there we go. Wow. Wow. You have got some amazing shit coming towards you, Scorpio. That is an absolutely brilliant card to jump out in the first part of the fucking reading. Well, you could be dealing with a Leo. The sun is all about complete emotional happiness, success, booking holidays, um, new jobs. This is this is something new. This is after going through a difficult time, a difficult period where you genuinely thought things might not ever get better. This is saying strap yourself in for a whole new shit show of amazingness because it is one of the most positive cards in the deck. This can also show somebody recovering from depression. Again, after going through a difficult time, somebody's in recovery, they're getting better. Someone's getting better. It's hope and optimism as well. Okay, what's the uh, what's the strength, please, for Scorpio? Strength for Scorpio. Regarding, regarding this reading. I have got a shitload of cards jumping out of Scorpio. Your energy is off the fucking wall. Okay, strength, please, for Scorpio. Strength for Scorpio. There we go. Wow, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity. Not dealing with bullshit. You're not going to be dealing with no bullshit, Scorpio. Some of you may have had your heart broken and the truth came out. You spoke your truth, they spoke your truth. You could have been dealing with a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. But somebody's speaking their truth. This is like, I am not tolerating no bullshit. I am not being mugged off. I am not being played. I am not having my heart broke. I'm in this for the long haul. So you either go hard or go home. This is all or nothing. Let me just move that camera down so you can see. This is all or nothing for Scorpio. No fucking around. Truths. Truths. Speaking your truth. What's the weakness, please? But also the white dove indicates peace and freedom. So there is definitely... Somebody is definitely coming out of a difficult time. Yeah. Five of cups reversed. Someone has been all up in their emotions. All up in their head struggling. As I said, there was major depression, major sadness, loss. Could have been, as I said, over heartbreak. Um, you know how heartbreak fits, but major sadness. But your things are going to get better, Scorpio. They're going to get so much better. You're going to start being happy, enthusiastic. You're going to start looking forward to the future again. But somebody did cause this grief. It's grief. Can I have advice, please? Advice for Scorpio. <clears throat> Advice for Scorpio.
Queen of Swords. Ooh, so someone's... Right, I'll just give a little bit of an explanation about this Queen, Queen of Swords. Because she is very cold-hearted, she doesn't let emotions rule her head and she deals with truth. She doesn't deal with bullshit. And again, she's got the doves all around her, so she's peaceful. She's in serenity. The reason she's so fucking cold is because once she was warm-hearted, she was a princess. But men decided to treat her like shit. They decided to use her, abuse her, make her feel like a woman, like she was beneath them. And she decided, no, I ain't dealing with this no more. I am not going through this shit no more. So she decided to not let emotions rule her head. She only shows her emotions to the people she trusts. But unfortunately, you have to get past her sword of truth before she will let her guard down. But there's a peaceful resolution. There is a peaceful resolution, Scorpio. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's get some clarifiers for Scorpio. Again, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Let's get some... One more. Okay, Archangel Libra is saying one more. Okay, what's the sun for Scorpio, please? Ooh, wow. The magician. This is getting your shit together, Scorpio. This is you manifesting good things. This is you realising that you're not happy being in this energy that you've been in. So you're going to spice things up because the magician is a spicy mofo. He, he does not mess around. This is somebody who understands, this is what I've got. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to turn this to my advantage. I'm going to give myself the kick up the ass. And you are going to turn something into gold. It's like a realisation, an awakening, manifestation. Somebody's manifesting something. They know something's good. good is coming. They can feel it. Again, the sign of Aries. Something good is coming. What's the Ace of Swords for Scorpio? What's the Ace of Swords for Scorpio? There could actually be some magic involved. Somebody may practice magic. Yeah, there's everything. Thoughts have been unbalanced. There's been a lot of unbalanced thinking. Not thinking in your normal way. Could have been a lot of unbalance in your finances as well. Sort of like giving more to one that, you know, there was more going out than there was coming in. So everything was unbalanced, but you're going to hit this shit on the head, Scorpio. You are going full force. You know you're the only person that can make your life right, and that's exactly what you're going to do. We've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's the Five of Cups reverse for Scorpio? Five of Cups reverse for Scorpio. Clarify the Five of Cups reverse for Scorpio. That's just too many cards. One card, please. Clarify the Five of Cups reverse for Scorpio. There it is. Temperance, again, balance. Things start to flow. Things have been so out of balance in your life. Nothing was flowing correctly. You were stagnant. You were stuck. Stuck in a very, very depressive state. But for whatever reason, something comes and shakes you up. Something brings you out of this energy. It's almost like you become the magician. You become the magician in your life. And when things start flowing, you know, because there's a lot of water. I can see a lot of water, even though they're air sign cards. There's a lot of flow with these. A lot of flow. And I can see things starting to flow in your favour. What's the Queen of Swords for Scorpio, please? Making good choices, making the right choices, getting your emotions in check. The devil, so dealing with someone who is extremely toxic. They were extremely toxic for your well-being. It could have been a Capricorn. There was addictions. It could have been drug addiction, alcohol addiction, behavioural addiction, prescription addic addiction, sex addictions. Whatever it was, it was an addiction to something or someone. And it was toxic. Very, very toxic. It could have been a toxic mother, sister, friend, partner. Somebody wasn't good for your health. Can you have a final outcome, please, for Scorpio? Wow. Wishes. Wish upon a star, Scorpio. Wish upon a star. One more, please, for final outcome. Wow, and there's your energy, Queen of Cups. So the Nine of Cups, 
wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, you are going to manifest something into your life. It's not going to be something that's so extravagant that you're going to be moving states or anything like that. It's something that makes your life easier. It's something you've wished on in your darkest hour. Something where you've said, I really wish, and then the universe has heard it. Someone's heard your call. They want you to be happy. And then we've got the Queen of Cups. You become like a mutable energy. You become very, very emotional, very happy, very motherly. There could be a pregnancy, children, very, very earthly, very motherly, very empathetic and intuitive as well. This is stepping back into your power because the Queen of Cups is extremely beautiful. She's extremely royal. Like she deserves the crown that she wears. She deserves the, you know, the luxury she has. And again, there's a lot of hope here. She's looking out into her kingdom knowing the people she has around her are the ones that were there from the beginning. So you have got some major energy coming your way, Scorpio. Can I have uh, Beyond Lamora for Scorpio, please? These are brand new cards, so please forgive because they're a little bit sticky at shuffling. It's like those matte cards and the matte cards are a bastard to shuffle, I'm not going to lie. They're very, very... They come out in chunks. <laughs> They come out in chunks. Card for Scorpio, please. Come on. Card for Scorpio. There we go. Oops. Wow. Full spectrum. Going full circle. Can we have a spellcaster for Scorpio as well, please? I like my jumpers. So I'm sorry that it's time consuming, but it's so the right card comes out in the reading. Spellcaster for Scorpio, there we go. Trust, trust in the process, Scorpio. If you don't trust, you're not going to get anywhere. So the first one, whew, it's got a very, very good divinatory meaning. Step out of black and white mentality of judgment. Go beyond the concepts of good and bad. This card invites you to honour the full spectrum of life and find a new way of perceiving your situation. When we judge something, we create a story around it. These stories often create limitation. Subconsciously, we gather so many of these stories over a lifetime. To heal our dis-ease and crystallise a new way, we need to create a space of no story where miraculous healing can happen. This space empowers us to be all we are. And allows us to stand in our truth. Embrace the full spectrum of creation in all our colours and the raw, muddy, earthbound shadow parts of a situation to determine whether they are actually bad or if stories you have held on to are limiting your perspective. Now, the second card we have is trust, and this is extremely um, important. Let me just get the, the blurb on this because I'd love to know more, all off by heart, but it's just not possible. <laughs> um... Here we go, trust. Well, yeah, trust or truth. However, the trust card is all about holding your cards close to your chest. Don't tell anybody anything anymore unless you 100% trust them. Because it's asking you to be careful with who you share your ideas with, especially with that nine of cups. You have got a wish fulfillment coming, but don't go and shout it from the, 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 you know, the, the top of the mountain just yet. The person that you're inquiring about, this could be a lover, a friend, is trustworthy. There is somebody who is trustworthy. And it's asking you to just open your heart because that's what the Queen of Cups does. She opens her heart and she trusts. And it will help you move on. That was your reading, Scorpio, for October 30th, 31st. Let me know if this resonates. Like, share, subscribe. Share the shit out of this video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to enter the competition. I wish you much love and I'll see you all again soon.